Good morning, my dear students. How are you all today? I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Today is 19th of April, 2020. We have prepared some activities for you this week so that you can learn and enjoy. So hop on and let's enjoy the learning caravan. Dear class, we have a schedule in our e-class that we have to follow. So we will have three lessons today. One will be for English and the other one is for math. You can do it today or tomorrow as there is no restriction for completing the work only today. And we'll later we will have a story time and we have a very interesting story it's called Hami the hamster i hope you're going to enjoy the story and just a note of advice for the parents we'll have three lessons delivered to you every sunday tuesday and thursday and the content here is good enough for two days on this slide there are important instructions for the parents. Kindly make sure you sit with your child in each session as they'll be needing your help and guidance. There are some things that you have to do before starting the e-lesson. Kindly make sure your child has a sharp pencil, eraser, sharpener, sharp color pencils, crayons or paints etc tell your child not to go anywhere while they are doing their work until it is finished in case of any urgency like they have to go to the toilet show them how they can pause the presentation or you can do it for them please make sure your children are holding the pencils correctly. And while they are doing the cutting activity, kindly check if they are holding the scissors in a proper way. You can take out the printouts for the worksheets in case your child does not want to finish them altogether. They can finish it later whenever they feel like. It's not necessary that the print should be in color. You can take out a black and white printout as well. My dear students, for our first e-lesson, today we are going to learn two important things in our English lesson. We will learn how the letters are formed and how do you write the letter S. We will also be learning with colors the letter Y and its sound. A note of advice for parents. In this slide, we are giving a formation key that will guide the children how each letter is drawn. So as we progress through each lesson, in the coming weeks, this formation letter will be there as a guideline for the parents to teach their children. My dear students, the letter which we are going to learn today is the letter S. And the sound for the letter S is S. S for snake. S for sun. There are so many things around you that start with the letter S and the sound is S. Children, if you remember, we, all, we have already learned the sound of the letter S in the class with Jolly Phonics song. Now I want all of you to put your fingers in the air and sing the song with me. The snake is in the 
Well done, children. Now, you remember, what is the sound of S? S. Well done. Now, children, let's learn how to write letter S in lowercase. We will start with the top corner and do a curved line. Yes, we will start on the top. And we will make a curved line and then we will go down and make another curved line to the other side. Well done children. Good job. Now I want you to finish the worksheet and keep practicing. You can look for the letter S in the formation chart and follow the arrows to write the letter. Well done children. Good job. My dear students, now we are going to learn and paint. Yes, as you can see in front of you, there is another letter and this letter is letter Y and the sound for letter Y is Y. Yeah. What is the sound of letter? The sound of letter Y is Y. Y for Y. Y for Yo-Yo. And Y for Yellow. Yes, good job. In the picture, what do you see? Yes, it's kind of a boat. But it's not called a boat. It's called a yacht. Come on, say it with me. Yacht. Excellent children. Good job. Now I want you to be creative and paint this yard in any way you want. You can color it in any way and make it a beautiful yard. And enjoy your painting. My dear students, in our second e-lesson, that is for math, we will learn counting with objects. Then we will match the shapes to each other. And finally, we have fun with shapes. Again, a note of advice for parents. Kindly be with your child when they are using sharp objects like scissors or sharpeners. Thank you. Dear parents, this slide is for you as a guideline. A quick explanation of one-to-one -one correspondence is that it is the ability to match an object to the corresponding number and recognize the number. As you can see in the picture, there are circles with number of dots from 1 to 10 and paper cups with numbers too. The kids will count the number of dots and place the correct number on the corresponding circle. Kindly draw this on a sheet and practice with your child. You can use bottle caps also instead of paper cups. Thank you. Okay children, now in this slide as you can see you are going to count the number of objects and circle the correct number. As you can see in the picture, there are two columns. The column in the left, it has different objects. Like you can see there are books and then box of crayons, glue bottles, a bag and few scissors. So what you're going to do, you're going to count the number of objects and then you're going to circle the correct number on the right side. Okay, my dear children, in this, you're going to match the shapes. As all of you now know all the shapes that you can see now on your screen. So, what you're going to do, 
you're going to take a pencil and you're going to match the shapes correctly. There is one example already done for you. As you can see the star and there is a dotted line that is going towards the other star. So same like this, you're going to match all the shapes to their correct shapes. Like for example, the first one on top, you can see it's a square. Now on the other side, you'll have to find the square and match it with a pencil using a dotted line. Okay children, in this slide, you can see a shape. Can you all recognize which shape is this? Yes, it is a star. Now you can see the star, it has a dotted line. So in this slide, you're going to do your cutting practice. You will cut with the scissor over the dotted line and it should shape like a star. Just try to do it very slowly on the dotted line and very carefully and for the parents I will say be with your child when they are doing this activity. Thank you. My lovely students now it's our fun time and yes it's the story time. So are you guys ready for the story? So let's start. The name of this story is Hammy the Hamster. Do you know what are hamsters? Yes, they are very cute little animals. And they are very good pets. But like any of the animals, sometimes they can be grumpy and they can bite also. They can be trained to do tricks and are fun to watch. But they also need a lot of care and love from you like any other pet. I am Hammy, the hamster. I live with my mother, Henrietta, my father, Harry, my sister, Haji, and my brother, Paul. We live in South America and you can't miss our home. It is the burrow under the trees that look like the letter H. When we are out during the day, we are very careful so we aren't caught. We might get trapped and become someone's pet. So we are mostly out after dark. We like to eat seeds and fruit and can carry it back home in our pouches. Our cheeks have built-in shopping bags. Just like you, we like to play and have fun. Last night, Hachi and I found this thing. When you pushed a button, it lit up like the sun. We have fun running into the light and chasing our shadows on the leaves. We like to climb things and explore. Our cousins, Lester, Larry and Loren live in the city. They are someone's pet. They sent us this picture and said they had a lot of fun but missed playing with us. Lester said he liked people. He always had food and water and lots of toys to play with. 
He even likes to take a ride in the pocket of his people friend, Billy. I might be your pet someday. If I ever become your pet, I hope you take good care of me because I will do all I can to be your friend. Adios, amigos. So, my dear students, I hope you enjoyed the story. I would like to thank you for listening to the story carefully. And I wish you all the best and have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.